and I spoke to you the, the difference between, understand the difference between uh, operating uh, between revenues and other financing sources and expenditures and other financing sources. Okay. And again, um, <coughs> what do revenues do? They increase fund balance, right? And what do expenditures do? They decrease fund balance. If you have trouble with this, make it even more simple for yourself. Think of this as cash, all cash. What happens when you get money in? It increases your bank account, which is what? Your fund balance. If that's what makes it easier, it's not technically that way, but if that's what makes it easier, that's what you use, because you use the modified accrual basis of accounting. Um, So let's take a look at look at the format. This is, remember I showed you the statement of activities? Now that was prepared on an accrual basis. This is a statement which is prepared on the modified accrual basis. And it looks totally different from that statement. This is so statement of, and you cannot forget this, statement of activity is what? On an accrual basis, statement of revenue expenditures and changes in fund balance, a long name, is under modified accrual basis. Two identical statements with two different bases of accounting which look different. You have revenues, right? Notice here, they are divided into different categories, but it looks very different from the other one. Okay. And look at this statement. So you have revenue and expenditures, and there's that other financing sources and use. I'd like you to see what you see within that category. So everybody see the examples of other financing source and use? This is the format for the operating statement prepared on a modified accrual basis. Two statements, statement of activities and statement of revenues, expenditures, and changes in fund balance. And uh, look at the, again, the budgetary and revenue accounts. You should take a good look at this. This is what we talked about. And then before I explain the next topic, I'd like you to take a look at this statement. Don't, don't be, con uh, be concerned about the specifics. Look at the heading, original, final, actual, encumbrance, budget, and variance. What does that all mean? What's the original mean in this statement? Original budget that was passed January 1, whatever. What does final mean? Okay, so you had the original budget. And something happened during the year, like lots of snow. And your snow blowing budget blew off. What do you do? You revise your budget for that line item, right? So your final budget could be different than your original budget, but it has to be balanced, right, still. So you could add revenues or subtract, and same thing you can add to, that's what that final number. What is actual? What you actually spent, right? Hold on to the encumbrance, we'll talk about that. 
and you now have the budgetary axis. And what is that variance column, the final budget, positive, negative? What does that mean? It's the difference between the what? It's between, take a look at it. Tell me what do you think it is. Is it between the original and actual or final and actual? Final and actual. This was your variance. And this is what people do. If you're the CFO, you would look at this statement every three months and you say, how am I doing here? So in this case, how did they do with property taxes, good or bad? Did they do good or bad with property taxes? They did well, right? Because their actual was what? More than their final number, right? Go down to the expenditures now, okay? How did they do with central operations, if you can read that? They did well too, right? They spent less than what they should have spent, right? Okay. By the way, if you're very curious about what the encumbrance is, encumbrance is an item which has been ordered but not yet received. So we actually take that into account. Again, I'll go into this, but for the time being, just remember that. It's a commitment you have made. You haven't gotten the service yet, but it's a commitment. You better count that into your, into your numbers. Okay. All right. Um, let's go back and... Uh, We talked about, okay, we just talked about this. And this is what we are doing, actually. Comparing actual revenues to estimated revenues.